All right, Holly, you ready to replace the chipper blades or sharpen the chipper blades on this Landworks chipper? This would be the model and all we got right here. So I was looking to find uh, something on YouTube about this chipper. It appears at the end of last season, uh, I ran a bunch of things through it and when I tried to use it yesterday, it uh, just would not chip like it did before. So I'm going to remove this chute just to make it a little bit easier. And then I'm going to remove this inspection panel, which hopefully I'll be able to get to the the blades. We'll see. We'll be doing this together for the first time. Uh, strange thing is these half inch seems to fit best here and 10 millimeter here. So those will be the wrench sizes that I'm using. Of course, the first thing we want to do is come over here and remove the spark plug connection. Make sure nothing weird happens and we get our hands in there and lose a few digits. So I went ahead and put a set of tools up here. I got my metric adjustable just in case. And then we've got our 10 millimeter, half inch, 10 millimeter, half inch, and some Allens to get the uh, blades off. All right, so let's start. Looks like I can get to this inspection panel pretty easy with a regular combination wrench. So, spin these off. Pull this inspection panel back, get it out of the way. All right, so this is our blade. So we've got the three, three Allens here. Pretty sure I take this and cover off here, down here. It'll give us easier access, but you can see what we're up against right there. Let's see if we can get an Allen wrench. And fit that. Yep, it's the one that's missing. she is. So I gotta get something on the inside to hold the back side of that.
this one right here you had to wait get a little bit of slack because your wrench would dog off here but move this off to the side and there we got all our blades exposed that one still feels pretty sharp So these would loosen up. I need to see if I've got a. It's threaded. Actually, feels like a nut on the other side. That being the case, I probably have to take it off here, bring it down, and break that off. All right. So let's see what we got. All right. So for better access, I am going to take this panel this cover off right here you may can get to let's see, these over here but this one right here is going to be I'm spin it all the way around and get it to this side you can put looks like it's gonna need a wrench I'll double check what you'll do is you'll loosen the allens from this port this port right here is gonna have this one blocked and this one blocked so you just pull that off just to get access a little more clearance to work but then you'll have to bring them all back around So this for take them off. Right. Give it a little shot of WD forty silicone. Okay, we've got these out. The ones on the back side I've left loose because they're slotted and during operation I can uh, take these two out and lift it off like that. So that way you can clear it anything gets hung up in there. That's what that looks like right there. See a little fan. Discharge chute. Let's take the rest of this cover off. One thing you may want to do before you remove this last nut here that's going to take this axle wheel assembly off is chalk it up a little bit with some boards because that right there is what's supporting this end so you better have something there well this is going to tilt could get a finger or spill some fluids out of the machine so I just kept it chopped up a little bit right here so it'll help support it when this is off Looks like a 2x4 and a 4x4 four four is about the height that you need. Alright, 
now that inspection cover's off. And you can definitely see that there are nuts back here holding these blades on. So now that all this is out of our way, should be able to get there and work on that. All right. Let's start taking off the blades. So this is five millimeter. Five millimeter Allen. And the half inch wrench to hold the nut on the back and they're pretty tight a little persuading to get it off and you've got a Flat washer, lock washer, Allen head. Make note that the bevel is out. It's angling away from the little flywheel there. So remember that when you're putting it back. Yeah, we'll work on getting the rest. So we got this blade off and you can kind of see how that edge really got work. You can That's pretty well dinged up. All right, we'll sharpen it up. Let's get the other blade off, get them sharp, put it back together. So that's how it looks like with it completely broke down. You guys got a little shoulder here on both of these to make sure you put your flat side right there. So that's a help. So this blade is probably even worse. Took, took quite a licking. So, we'll check it out, get her back sharp, put her in business, go back to mulching. All right, let's sharpen the blades. All right, well, the first thing I want to do is check balance. and really not enough wear to make them out of balance, at least on that one. see where there's a lot more wear here than here and so this side's tilted down so when I try to make that 
little better. All right, now let's go to grinding. Grinding and honing. All right, Holly. I got my face shield. Holly's my safety coat, so she kind of keeps me straight. That work? All right, you inspected that. All right, yeah, you always want to have eye protection anytime you're using the grinder. So I'm going to put my face shield on and work on this edge a little bit. One thing I did make it a little easier is I've got uh, my blade screwed to this 4x flat washers off of the bolts that we had earlier. Um, and that'll just hold it, line up the bevel here, and then I can just work on that edge and look down at it. So it's just a quick little jig to hold it, hold it down. Plus this is going to get pretty warm. Now that's more gooder. More gooder right there. All right, let's get the other one going. And then we'll do, like they say in the manuals, reverse. Put it all back together. I got this set of blade on. I'm snugging these up, make sure they're all in so that they line up before you tighten them. I'm tightening the center then outside to outside. Make sure you don't get a, a weird bow. Probably won't. Remember, this is sharp. It's kind of hard to wear gloves for that. Then getting that stuff on the inside. Snug it up real good. Go to this one. tight And just finish snugging them. Tighten them all the way up. You can see what I mentioned to you before about the bevel. Right there. It flares away from the flywheel. All right, I'll tighten this last one up. Everything else is just done in reverse. Put all your covers back on. Discharge. Your inlet flanges, axle. Um, one thing that I may have done different, or at least I would have attempted it, you may be able to uh, just take the discharge chute off and this cover off to make it easy. Yeah, I was thinking that you might could, that little inlet chute but uh, 
I don't know. I believe I would do this. You'd save yourself probably a lot of heartache. Just disassemble it here. It's easy enough. And uh, put everything back together and we'll go test it out. All right, we're about done. Just wanted to remind you right here when you're putting your chute, your inlet chute, that this nut, make sure you kind of start it with everything open up because you won't have enough room right there to tighten it. So just snug it up and let the uh, shoot kind of go up with it. I'm just kind of working it with my knee right there. Then you'll be able to turn it. But if you put the others on, this nut won't fit. So let's put the other three nuts on. Put our spark plug on, spark plug wire, and give her a go.